Friday and the day before that. I'm interested in you. Something wrong with that? Ain't many girls decide to, to be, be a, a doctor. doctor. Have we figured out yet just exactly how much medical school is going to cost? Come on out of there, please. Walter Lee, why don't you leave that girl alone and get out here to work? You know, the check's coming tomorrow. That money belongs to Mama, Walter, and it's for her to decide how she wants to use it. I don't care if she wants to buy a house or a rocket ship or just nail it up somewhere and look at it. It's hers, not ours, hers. Now, ain't that fine? You just got your mother's interest at heart, ain't you, girl? You're such a nice girl. But Mama can always take a few thousand to help you through school, can't she? I have never asked anyone around here to do anything for me. No, but the line between asking and just accepting when the time comes is big and wide, ain't it? Well, what do you want from me, brother, that I quit school or just drop dead? Which? I don't want nothing except for you to stop acting holy around here. Uh, me and Ruth to make some sacrifices for you. Why can't you do something for the family? Walter, don't be dragging me in it. You are in it. Don't you get up and go to work in somebody's kitchen and help put clothes on the back? Oh, Walter, that's not fair. It ain't that we expect you to get down on your knees and say, thank you, brother, thank you, Ruth, thank you, Mama, and thank you, Travis, for wearing the same pair of shoes for the last two semesters. Well, I do all right. Thank everybody. And forgive me for ever wanting to be anything at all. Forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. Forgive me, forgive me. Please stop it, your mama hear you. And who the hell told you you had to be a doctor? If you're so crazy about messing around sick people, then be a nurse like other women, or get married or shut up. Well, you finally got it said. It took you three years, but you finally got it said. Oh, to give up, leave me alone. It's mama's money. He was my father, too. So what? He was mine, too. And Travis's grandfather. But the insurance money belongs to mama. Picking on me is not going to make her give it to you to invest in any liquor store. And I, for one, say God bless mama for that. Did you hear? Did you hear? Yes, honey, yeah. Connie, just please no, go to work. Nobody in this house is ever going to understand me. Because you're a nut. Hey, who's a nut? You. You are a nut. V is mad, boy. Yeah, the most backward race of people, and that's a fact. And then there are all those prophets who would lead us out of the wilderness. Into the swamps! Benny, why you always got to be picking on your brother? Can't you be a little sweeter sometime? I need some money. Fifty cent? Here. Take a taxi. around here slamming doors at this hour. That was Walter Lee. He and Benny was at it again. My children and they tempers. Lord, if this little old plant don't get more sun than it's been getting, it ain't never gonna see spring again. What's the matter with you this morning, Ruth? You looks right peaked. You aiming to iron all them things? Leave some of them for me. I'll get to them this afternoon. Benny? Honey, it's too drafty for you to be sitting around here half-dressed. Where's your robe? In the cleaners. Well, go get mine and put it on. I'm not cold, Mama, honest. I know, honey, but you're so thin. Mama, I'm not cold. Lord, have mercy. Look at this poor bed. Bless his heart. <laughs> he tries, don't he? No. He don't half try at all, because he know you're going to come along behind him and fix everything. That's just how come he don't know how to do nothing right now. You done spoiled that boy so. Well, he's just a little old boy. He ain't supposed to know about housekeeping. My baby, that's what he is. <laughs> Don't you feed him for breakfast? I feed my son, Lena. I ain't mad at him. 
I just noticed all last week he had cold cereal. When it starts to get this chilly in the fall, a child ought to have some hot grits or something when he goes out. I gave them hot oats. Is that all right? I ain't meddling. Put a lot of nice butter on it. He likes lots of butter. Lena. Oh, you hear your brother fussing by? It's not important, Mama. What was they fighting about? Now, you know as well as I do. Walter Lee's still worrying himself sick about that money. You know he is. You have breakfast? Some coffee. Girl, you better start eating and looking after yourself better. Almost thin as Travis. Lena? Mm-hmm. What you gonna do with it? Now, don't you start, child. It's too early in the morning to be talking about money. Besides, it ain't Christian. It's just that he got his heart set on that store. You mean that liquor store that Willie Harris want him to invest in? Yes, ma'am. We ain't no business people, Ruth. We just plain working folks. Well, ain't nobody business people till they go into business. Walter Lee say that colored people ain't gonna never start getting ahead till they start gambling on some different kinds of things in the world, like investments and things. What's done got into you, girl? Walter Lee done finally sold you on investing? No. Mama, something is happening between Walter and me, and I don't know what it is. He needs something. Something I can't give him anymore. He needs this chance, Lena. But liquor, honey. Well, like Walter say, I expect people gonna always be drinking themselves some liquor. Well, whether they drink it or not ain't none of my business, but whether I sell it to him is. And I don't want that on my ledger this late in life. Ruth Younger, what is the matter with you today? You look like you could fall over right there. I'm tired. Then you better stay home from work. I can't stay home. She be calling up the agency. My girl didn't come in. Oh, send me somebody. My girl didn't come in. She just have a fit. Let her have it. I just call up and say you get the flu. Why the flu? Because it sounds respectable to them. It's something white people get, too. They know about the flu. <sighs> Otherwise, they think you're being cut up or something when you tell them you're sick. Well, I gotta go in. We need the money. Lord, have mercy. Somebody would have thought my children done all but starved to death the way they talk about money here lately. Girl, we got a great big old check coming tomorrow. Now, that's your money. Ain't got nothing to do with me, and we all feel like that. Walter, Benny, me, even Travis. Ten thousand dollars. Sure is wonderful. Ten thousand dollars. You know what you should do, Miss Lena? Mm. You should take yourself a trip somewhere to Europe or South America, someplace. Oh, child. I'm serious. <laughs> Just pack up and leave. Now, you forget about the family, and you go and have yourself a ball for once in your life. You sound like I'm about ready to die. Who would go with me? But I look like wandering around Europe by myself. Shoot, these here rich white women do it all the time. They don't think nothing of packing up their suitcases and piling on one of them big steamships and swoosh! They gone, child. Something always told me I wasn't no rich white woman. 